बिस्मान रहीम 1956 के कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन के बाद 1958 में जो नेक्स्ट इवेंट हमारा आता है वो है मार्शल लॉ अब मार्शल लॉ के लिए क्या है इसकंदर मिर्ज़ा 1955 में गवर्नर जनरल बनते हैं और उसके बाद जब कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन आता है तो कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन के ज़रिए से अब वो प्रेजिडेंट हो गए हैं क्योंकि गवर्नर जनरल तो वो 1935 के एक्ट के तहत थे क्योंकि पाकिस्तान वाज बीइंग रन ऑन 1935 थर्टी एक्ट विद सम चेंजेस दैट इज़ वाई द पोस्ट ऑफ गवर्नर जनरल स्टिल रिमेंड एंड पाकिस्तान वॉज अ डोमिनियन डोमिनियन मीन्स पाकिस्तान एक्सेप्टेड and all the government functionaries they accepted the monarch of the british as the figure head uh now in 1956 uh, the uh, status of president was created i mean that seat and governor general was done away with and now iskandar mirza is the only president who was the first president but the fourth uh, governor general of pakistan uh iskandar mirza jo hai वो कंसिस्टेंट uh, उनकी तबीयत नहीं है नो डाउट ही वॉज अ ब्रोक्रेट ही बिलोंग टू द आर्मी आर्मी ब्रोक्रेसी से उनका ताल्लुक था एंड ही बिलीव दैट ओनली अ ब्रोक्रेट एंड द पर्सन एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन को टेक बोल्ड डिसीजंस एंड पॉलिटिशंस कुड नॉट ही डिड नॉट ट्रस्ट पॉलिटिशंस द वे हिज प्रीवियस Uh, I mean, uh, his predecessor, uh, Ghulam Muhammad, did not. So, दोनों ही trust नहीं करते थे. तो political parties इतनी powerful ना हो सकीं after the death of Qaeda Azam. Even के Muslim League भी एक ऐसी party बन के रह गई, जिसके ऊपर कब्जा जो है चंद एक landlords का हो गया. जिनके अपने वेस्टेड इंटरेस्ट्स थे तो जो लीडरशिप थी जो कायद अजम मोहम्मद अली जिना की सूरत में मौजूद थी एंड देन आफ्टरवर्ड्स लियाकत अली खान टुक दार्ज दीज काइंड ऑफ लीडर्स वंस पास्ट अवे एंड असैसिनेट देयर वाज अ ग्रेटर पॉलिटिकल वैक्यूम इन द कंट्री और अ लीडरशिप वैक्यूम सो लीडरशिप डिफेस एट लेट टूवर्ड्स द ब्रोक्रेटिक गवर्नमेंट्स द फर्स्ट ब्रोक्रेटिक गवर्नमेंट वॉज ऑफ गुलाम मोहम्मद एंड बिकॉज ऑफ हिस पैरालिस ही हैड टू लीव एंड देन गिविंग द चार्ज टू इन अदर ब्रोक्रेट एंड दैट वॉज इसकंदर मिर्जा सो इसकंदर मिर्जा नाइनटीन फिफ्टी सिक्स ही गेव द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन या अंडर हिम कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन केम इन द कंट्री द फर्स्ट वन बट इन it 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 lasted only for 2 years and then afterwards it was abrogated what were the reasons that civilian setup completely failed and martial law came that is a question which can appear in the examination to ispe sabse pehli reason hum dekh sakte hain political instability in the country uh, bureaucratic governments and uh, the uh, i mean muslim league was left with a bunch of uh, landlords and feudal lords those who had their own uh, vested interests and they did not care for the interests of the people there was also the uh, dispute and discontent between east pakistan and the politicians of west pakistan on constitution constitutional matters so these were the reasons for which pakistan was not progressing on socio economic front this progress had halted and the people were sick of this political bickering uh, you know under this scenario the situation arose uh, when iskandar mirza had to impose emergency it was iskandar mirza the civilian setup which 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 uh, uh, manipulated uh, the constitution and uh, exploited Uh, the emergency powers in their own uh, self interests so, imposed emergency and uh, put martial law in the country uh, called a yub khan and asked him to become martial law administrator and prime minister as well uh, one thing is very important that ayub khan had remained prime minister for some period because he was made prime minister under i mean you could see that there were three years iskandar mirza uh, stayed in the government and there were almost six governments uh, 
uh, which came during his uh, presidency or governor generalship what i mean the first one uh, muhammad ali bogra was changed by uh, chaudhry muhammad ali chaudhry muhammad ali ko bhi uh, unhone utara aur uske baad uh, jo ek bade prolific aur bahut कॉम्पिटेंट किस्म के लीडर थे बंगाल में से उनको लेके आए हुसैन शहीद सोहरवर्दी बट हुसैन शहीद सोहरवर्दी रिफ्यूज टू बिकम अ पपेट प्राइम मिनिस्टर ही वॉन्टेड मोर अथॉरिटी विच वॉज नॉट लाइक्ड बाय इसकंदर मिर्जा ही वॉज डिसमिस बट ही वॉज आउट स्पोकन एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू माई ओन अनालिसिस एंड माई ओन रीडिंग बिफोर भुट्टो भुट्टो लाइक लीडर वॉज ही uh hussain shahi sarwar he spoke wonderfully he spoke fluently he was uh, he was the one who could take decisions he was the one who could lead the people so hussain shahi sarwardi was dismissed he belonged to bengal and then again from bengal a new prime minister was brought in uh, i i chandrigal i i chandrigar i Ch i i chandrigar could not remain for a longer period of time and then he was replaced by a politician uh, from uh, sargoda i mean that sargoda division uh, his name was feroz khan noon aur feroz khan noon ke baad phir hamare Uh, क्योंकि फरोज खान नून की जो गवर्नमेंट थी वो इतनी इंस्टेबल नहीं थी बहुत सारे लोग को मिनिस्टर्स भी बनाया कैबिनेट को एक्सपेंड किया बहुत सारी धानमती का कुंबा उन्होंने जमा किया हुआ था और वो कुछ इतना चल ना सकी और ये कुछ छह गवर्नमेंट चेंज हुई मोहम्मद अली बोगरा मोह चौधरी मोहम्मद अली आई आई हुसैन शही सहरवर्दी आई आई चंद्रीगर फिरोज खान नून और उसके बाद फिर आते हैं फिरोज खून फिरोज खान नून के बाद प्राइम मिनिस्टर बनाते हैं इसकंदर मिर्जा अयूब खान को तो ये छह गवर्नमेंट तब्दील होती हैं इवन के इंडियंस भी हमें मजाक करते थे कि हम इतनी धूतियाँ तब्दील नहीं करते जितनी आप लोग प्राइम मिनिस्टर्स अपने तब्दील करते हैं तो इसमें जो इंस्टेबिलिटी थी आई मीन द कमिंग एंड गोइंग ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट्स दैट कुड नॉट ब्रिंग इन दैट स्टेबिलिटी विच वॉज नीडेड फॉर दी बिजनेस एक्टिविटी टू जनरेट इन द कंट्री द इन्वेस्टर वॉज नॉट कमिंग and then uh, you know droughts and famines they were hitting pakistan under this kind of situation we needed a very powerful leader uh, such like, uh, like liaquat ali khan or uh, qaid e azam but their demise uh, premature death that had cost pakistan a lot so for these reasons uh, when hussain shahid sohrawardi 1958 he was trying to uh, gather the politicians uh, uh, you know together from east pakistan and west pakistan and was threatening iskandar mirza to launch a street agitation against him if he did not call elections or uh, put his popularity to test iskandar mirza knew very well that he could not go and fight elections because he could not command he did not command respect of the people and he knew very well that even in the assemblies the people or or, or the representatives of the assemblies they did not like him and he could not take the vote of confidence there even that is why he uh, went to the extreme level he imposed emergency uh, placed a martial law in the country called ayub khan made him prime minister and chief martial law administrator asked him to fix the miscreants uh, i mean these politicians who were gathered around hussain Sh uh, shahid sohrawardi and there ayub khan ayub khan had uh, uh, had got Uh, these kind of invitations to become uh, prime minister earlier but he had resisted because qaid azam uh, rahmatullah uh, 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 rahmatullah had uh, instructed army to remain in limits and do not come into politics do not make policies because this is not your domain domain this is what qaid azam had said to army so uh, army was committed to it but these were civilians who, who were committed uh, equally to drag army into politics so this time ayub khan could not uh, resist when he saw the situation uh, he came in uh, you know became prime minister he was also the member selected member of the cabinet that time ayub khan defense minister he was serving as a de defense minister in the cabinet and then afterwards he became prime minister and martial law administrator uh, uh, you know in the capacity of commander in chief 
but once Ayub Khan came and I mean the Hawks came they wrapped up the system of Iskandar Mirza. Iskandar Mirza had to exile and then you know Ayub Khan's era started. So uh, we see uh, what are the reasons uh, for Ayub Khan's coming I mean the first martial law 1958 and that uh, these reasons were uh, many but some of the reasons are put down on the board the first one was political instability as I've talked to you earlier uh, six governments in three years they had been changed and then afterwards socio-economic progress halted because political instability never ever uh, ensured political uh, economic progress and social welfare programs then bureaucratic governments I mean there were two bureaucratic governments most of the time they spent 1950 uh, they were they were of I mean after after Liaquat Ali Khan in 1951 they became uh, Ghulam Muhammad until 1958 that bro bureaucrats remained uh, powerful in the uh, government so bureaucratic governments and their distrust in politicians because they did not trust politicians that is a politician that did not become so mature and powerful elections were not coming into Pakistan and Pakistan was being run on the same general election which was held in India 1945-46 there was a little election uh, in between but that was not a general election so general election did not come in Pakistan till 1970 when uh, Pakistan had first general elections and Pakistan broke up into two parts so uh, they I mean there was I mean these bureaucratic government of Iskandar Mirza promised I mean there was a constitution and the constitution it was provided that a, a, a you know constitution would be implemented after the general elections were held but general elections were never held it means 1956 constitution wasn't uh, promulgated uh, in full force. So bureaucratic government, their distrust in politicians, elections delayed, fear of street agitation from Hussain Shahi Sarwarti because I told you earlier that he was a leader with the nerves. So he uh, started putting together all the politicians from East Bengal and uh, West Pakistan and then he was threatening the government to hold elections or show their uh, popularity otherwise he would start street agitation these were the reasons and then common man was fed up of political bickering that uh, dispute that in 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 in, in fighting uh, common man was not happy common man wanted in the country progress simple progress he wanted his shop to work well he wanted his uh, uh, job to pay him dividends he wanted his economy or his household uh, was was doing well but he did not want all that bickering or political uh, you know uh, discontent so after Qaeda a bunch of landlords with Western interests were left in Muslim League so Muslim League was uh, not that powerful Muslim League which was the Muslim League under Qaeda Azam even Qaeda Azam uh, knew very well that he uh, his lieutenants in Muslim League were weak so we could say that there was a leadership vacuum for all these reasons martial law came and once martial law came the people were very happy even public welcomed the military when in 1958 military came in politics a public welcomed the military you know why because they thought that military could bring about stability in the country they knew very well only military was a powerful organization and an established one they could deliver on social and economic fronts uh, then uh, uh, you know even Mohtarama Fatima Jinnah gave the statement in 1958 that with the coming of military Pakistan is saved now I mean that was Mohtarama Fatima Jinnah's stalwart personality she was giving a statement in favor of military so much uh, sick they were of that political bickering in the country so now a uh, public welcomed the military and then there was another reason that military was considered to be the only hope against the bigger India and India was threatening Pakistan uh, thus uh, the security dilemma which uh, was generated in 1947 that also helped people welcome army or military at this time so Ayub Khan started with that much confidence Ayub Khan started with as much confidence political stability came in the country which was his promise and then he wanted to bring in democracy in Pakistan but he said that he did not believe that uh, the politicians could uh, have uh, mature uh, you know thinking or could be mature enough 
to bring in a good democracy in Pakistan and the, he thought that uh, uh, you know uh, public was not mature enough to bring in good politicians that is why he he, he dubbed uh, his constitution reforms as a democracy with discipline. I mean, democracy with discipline, that was what his uh, slogan was. And then under uh, this, uh, he started the programs uh, of uh, economic progress. Once political stability was reached, political stability was reached, and uh, then afterwards, economic pro programs started.